Yama. Uh, my name is Ben Moody. I'm from Gamilaroi, northeast New South Wales. I'm currently living in Victoria and 38 years old. Probably the last decade and a half, I was employed by government to yell at racists. Sorry, cultural awareness training. And through that time frame, I think um, copped a lot of ignorance, a lot of racism, a lot of abuse, a lot of lack of support. Seen a big shift in the last few years, especially with Black Lives Matter and lockdown, lots of other things that have, I think, forced people to sort of form communities a bit better. But what I've found through that is it's normally just opening up the chance for a dialogue for people to actually ask the questions. Um, I think we find a lot more accidental sort of racism is where it comes across from, or people just not being certain or confident. Um, so I use a lot of humour to try to swap that back over um, and throw humour back into place. Ben Moody! Yama, 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 you mob. Hey, none of you mob are expecting sexy gingerbread man, were you? But no, here I am. I'm made from local and imported ingredients. Um, the local bits are Gamilaroi. Have we got any Gamilaroi mob here today? No one got safe from Scotty's mandatory handshake? <laughs> Shit. Um, <clears throat> no, serious note though. Did anyone see through lockdown, Pauline Hansen went through Sydney airport with a gollywog face mask on? No, like, shit, I did. I wasn't actually that mad though, because if you guys think about it, that's probably the first time something black sat on her face. <laughs> it's an effective way to close the gap. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, through lockdown, it was pretty brutal for all of us, um, but I got this chance to hang out with my uncle at the end of lockdown on one of those headlands just out here. Um, and it was one of those beautiful moments. He was telling me about the dreaming animals that were in the area, all the plants and the animals there, how they're all interconnected, and plants and animals have an interconnection. Talk to blackfellas, we can teach you some things. Um, but he was telling me that pig face, you can eat it. You guys all know pig face? It's like a pink succulent grows on the beaches everywhere across Australia. Well, not only can you actually eat it, but white fellas, positive news for you is you guys don't have to do any borderline weird ass kinky behaviour on the beach anymore and piss on each other when someone gets stung with jellyfish. <laughs> Just grab a pig face and rub it on there. But no sooner had he told me that, these dudes come screaming out of the water. There's a jellyfish! And so, bub, pig face, I'm off. I'm over the sand dunes down, collecting up as much as I can. I get back up to the top of the sand dune and I look down and here's uncle. pissing all over these dudes. I was like, gave him a second, I look back down, he comes up the hill and I'm like, um, uncle, I got the pig face. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, no, I get that. I was like, but wasn't that for them? He's like, no, we can eat it later. And I was like, cool. So what happened? He's like, well, when's the last time four white dudes asked you to piss all over them? <laughs> I'm not turning down that opportunity. <laughs> now, I do have to say that I want to shout out and thank Hawaii for giving us the best Valentine's Day present ever possible. Some of you aren't quite sure what I'm saying. That's the date where we had the first ever act of allyship towards Aboriginal people. They decided to cook, cook. <laughs> um, but no, I worked out what actually happened that day, right? So they did a bit of a coup. The plan was, Cook was going to go scare and intimidate a whole bunch of First Nations people. <laughs> That's worked out well. Um, and they were supposed to run away. They didn't do it, but I worked out why. Now, a conversation happened earlier that day on the boat, and I believe it probably was between either Master Bates and Seaman Staines. <laughs> and they were sitting there having a bit of a think about who's going to talk to the Hawaiians for them. Now, you know when whitefellas are talking to people from another culture, how hey, you start speaking really loud and slow. So this is what happened, right? Master Bates walked up. And he's like, this is Lieutenant Cook. And what the Hawaiians heard was this you can cook. <laughs> the rest is essentially fucking history at that point. <laughs> now, <laughs> I do want to give you a bit of a positive sort of news story, but through lockdown, did anyone actually see the Proud Boys made a bit of an appearance? The little racist white boys that if we did a DNA test, they all probably come from Devon. <laughs> anyone else, fun fact, just find out Devon was a place recently? <laughs> um, but they got their name from somewhere. They got their name from an Arabic song, from Aladdin. Take as long as you need with this. Proud white boys got their name from an Arabic fairy tale. <laughs> so I want to leave you with a positive affirmation to use. And I want you guys to all join me in on this. On the count of three, I want you to yell out what I yell out every morning when I walk out the front of my house. You guys willing to do a positive affirmation with me? 
All right, on the count of three, I need you guys to scream out, fuck Nazis at top note. He's all still with me. One, two, three. Fuck Nazis! How fucking good does that feel? <laughs> I'm Ben Moody, I'm out of here. Everyone's just responding, everyone's moving with every joke that we're putting out there. It's, um, yeah, it's just I'm on a, a high, massive high at the moment. But thank you so much, it's the best experience ever.